feminist there's a very feminist claim and you know the truth is that it's a little bit different in that i would argue that it's a matter of should rather than whether is you know and it, the difference between should and is really come into play here which is you know feminists will uh, will argue you know ultimately that that women don't need men but and 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 the trouble that i find with that is not that i don't think that women like that i think that women should need men you know it's it's a matter of the question of whether they actually do or not and i i find that there that i do have what i believe to be like my formulated response to this which is that i don't think they should but right now at least in the west and in america they you know the united states of america that is they really very much so do need us and i i I base my opinion on the fact that America is a democracy. I, I say this because my country is not a full democracy. It's a representative democracy. And because of that, when you have people and you have citizens like Lori Alexander who are capable of voting and you have plenty of women who would love nothing more than to ban abortion and set all other women back the way that you know we we've been plagued by since the beginning i mean not every woman has really been an ally of the women's rights movement at all in the united states plenty of them you know are more than happy to throw other women overboard and this has been an ongoing phenomenon in the united states for quite a while and it's on that basis that, you know, you can argue that even with over half the population, that these women that would more than happily and readily use their rights and their civil liberties to, you know, rescind their own civil liberties and set every, as long as it impacted other women, you know, this has been a phenomenon in the United States for quite a while. And really, it's, you know, around the world, not every woman has ultimately been an ally of women's liberation. So in a democracy, you need 50% plus one of the vote to actually win elections and to actually do things, especially after, for instance, abortion has been struck down by the courts. If you want to get legislation in place that you know enacts abortion rights and restores what's been taken from women so far you're going to need a considerable amount of us to actually get there because you're not going to be able to do it with the female portion of the population alone or with women that are of voting age alone in the united states because not every woman of voting age in the united states is actually an ally of the women's rights movement you need men to replace those that aren't. That's the reality of the situation. Should it be this way? No, of course it shouldn't fucking be this way. But that's the way that it is. I mean, we have to contend as activists with reality on reality's own terms. I mean, do you feminists need men? Yes. Should they need men? No. You know, that's the reality. So you you know if you if you want me to 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 defend all this and say all of the things that I need to say in all this like I I defend the Nineteenth Amendment as a as a way of you know in the video just before this one as a way of staking my claim in this you know the truth the the truth of the matter in all of this is dirty it's it's not the ideal world that I want to live in it's not the world that it, that that ought to be it's not it's not like that it's it's that the world that we do live in is such a damnable failure at living up to the ideals that you know we'd like to see both of us as as you know women, as people who are trying to be allies of that movement you know of the women's rights movement would like to actually see our world is considerably short of that women you know the the ways that the that that the Planned Parenthood, you know, and and all these other guys have, all these other organizations have had to respond in the wake of all that. Like, 
there were plenty of women that deliberately went out of their way to align themselves with the pro the quote pro you know life life side of the equation even though i don't believe that they are truly pro-life at all I, i don't believe that a group of people that you know essentially supports you know the death penalty you know is pro war pro everything else that you know was a threat to life is really going to be able to you know cobble together a culture of life you know it's just not you know not my not my idea you know and the the truth of the matter is that when we looked at the gut match or research about what 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 it was that caused women to choose abortions in the first place it was largely lack of ability to afford raising the child and wanting to continue their education came in among the top two reasons why women chose these rather than you know offering something like taxpayer supported child you know and taxpayer subsidization of child care to make it truly affordable to even poor you know rather than is deciding that children ought to be the responsibilities of the whole of American society. We have stubbornly decided that, you know, to work overtime to protect the baby, you know, the, the unborn until it actually comes out of the wound. And then presumably it's rugged individualism all over again, you know, screw you, raise the, you know, you're on your own sort of mentality in the United States. And, I just I don't think that that is conducive to creating a a quote culture of life the way that Bush put it. So I I really don't think these people are truly ultimately like pro life at all. I think that they really are just people that want to force women to carry out unwanted pregnancies, and that's really all they are is a bunch of control freaks. So you, you know, but. Despite all that, none of none of the, none of this was produced for the cookies of saying all this. I mean, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of of it being presumed that I've got ulterior motives to say these things. I'm disgusted by what's happened. It's hurt to see, you know, them go through this. I. It's not that it's their suffering as being appropriated. Like you know, you're the ones that are going to suffer the the bigger blow as a result of this but it still hurts like in empathy i hurt you know when the court ruling came down it was painful for me particularly because i'm in the demographic of people that is well educated enough to know you know that the reason why why we got roe versus wade in the first place you know was largely that doctors were being subjected to women coming in with from botched abortions and that it's a bunch of crap you know it, it's like it's like the, these guys have this uh, this idea in their head that Roe versus Wade created abortion but all it did is make it safe you know because they were happening even when it's illegal and you know obviously women took shit into their own hands you know before Roe versus Wade and you know you can expect to find a world wake up in a world where more and more of that kind of thing will start happening today we seem to we seem to have these stereotypical notions of what women actually are in our heads to think that they would never do something like that but of course they would do something like that they did it the first time what do you think what, what do you think that your project has fundamentally changed women's nature i mean they were bombing people up and down in england too during the during to get the 19th amendment in the first place you know like I, I mean, I, I just, I, I can't, I can't imagine why you would think, you know, you know and, and how false, you know, the Mary Poppins-esque version of feminism actually turned out to be, like, that you would still have this idea in your head about what women were really like, that suggested that they would never, you know, take shit into their own hands and try to you know, try the coat hanger and try methods like that to get rid of it, particularly because it had happened before. Why will it not happen again? You know, women are not what we think culturally they are and that stereotype suggests that they are.